Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlain. Today I want to answer a question. How can I get rich? And you're probably thinking, how can you answer that question? Because you're not rich yet. You're right, I'm not. But there are some habits that we need to develop as we're building a business. Yes, I talk about building an affiliate marketing business using YouTube. And that is what I'm doing to get to that point. But there are other things beneath the surface that we need to do to get rich. There's certain characteristics, certain habits that we have to develop. So today I'm going to go over seven different habits or things that we need to do as you're working towards getting rich and building that business. And one of, number one is you need to develop a written financial plan. So you have your business plan written, which is part of your financial plan. But what about your finances. Where are you? Are you severely in debt? Are you, are, do you even know where your money's going? So start tracking how you're spending your money. Where's it going? What does your debt look like? And just writing it down is the first step. Even if it looks horrible, write it down, get a whole, go get a handle on it so that you understand where your money's going. And then you can start digging in a little deeper. But the first step is knowing <laughs> where your money's going. And then from there, you're going to develop a plan. Number two, save, save, save. There has to be a savings uh, element in your plan. Even if you're only putting away $10 a week to start with, you can start with something. I had a friend, oh, it's probably been about nine years ago. Now I'm in my fifties. And so sometimes we learn lessons late in life, but that's okay. It's never too late. But I always had a trouble with I always had trouble with saving money. Like I always said, why well, I, I could always find something else to do with my money. Are you like that? Like you you get paid and you're like, well, I'm not gonna put money in the bank. I've I've gotta go buy diapers or I gotta go do buy this or buy that. There's always something that we could be spending our money on. And a friend of mine told me, she was so good with money, she said, I automatically have money taken out of my check and put right into the savings account. And then she goes, I know that I have um, like my property taxes or um, house insurance. You know, those big bills that hit you throughout the year. If you don't have it um, in, in with your house payment, you have to make those payments, car payment, you know, car insurance, whatever it is, those big bills that pop up. She said, I figure them out for the 12 months throughout the year. And every single paycheck, I have X amount taken out of my paycheck and put into an account to pay those big bills. And then I have another amount taken out to go into savings. And I thought, how easy is that? Because then you never see it. The money is taken out, put into an account, and then you pay the bills and live off the rest. I have been doing that probably close to 10 years now. And it is so easy. And my savings account, I don't even look at it. And if, as far as I'm concerned, it's not there. And there has been emergencies here and there that it's been there to help us, but it has been such a blessing. And just knowing that I'm able to do that without even thinking about it has been so easy. So just figure out if you've never done it before and you can only put $10 or $20 a paycheck, $50, do something. Because once you don't see it anymore in your paycheck, it's, it's, it's so easy just to have it taken out. That's the wonderful thing about, you know, all the technology and things being able to be withdrawn and done online with technology. Number three is, this is hard, I think for everybody, live below your means. I have seen people, I'll never forget this years ago, I had a friend tell me, it was around Christmas time, and she lived in a really ritzy area, and she was telling me that she had these friends and they lost their job, and they were devastated. Now, mind you, they were living in a very affluent area, and part of me is like, how can they be struggling? I mean, they've got this nice house, nice cars, but I started to think what we tend to do no matter where we are in life, whether we're, you know, our income level is very low or very high, there are people that live beyond their means. So just because you're making two or three hundred thousand dollars a year, if you lose that, you're probably in more danger, probably in a more helpless situation than somebody that's only making sixty thousand a year because your expenses are higher and it's harder for you to recover. But even people making a lot of money tend to live beyond their means. It's just something we do because it's so easy to go into debt. So start looking at that. Am I spending money on things that I really can't afford? I mean, you're doing it and you're in debt, but can you really afford it? And that's, that's what you have to ask yourself. And each, each person has to look at their own finances and, 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 and figure that out. Number four 
this is hard to lay off the credit. I know the holidays are here and it's so easy just to pull that charge card and go in debt um, for Christmas and we justified, I've done it. You know, you justify it because you, you wanna give nice gifts to people and really celebrate the holidays. But think about what you could do instead because really, as I've gotten older, especially, I don't really care if people give me a gift that's, you know, that I have to unwrap. I would rather them say, hey, let's go have a cup of coffee and, and spend time together. Or, you know, they could make me some baked goods or something like that. That would be just as meaningful to me or probably more than giving me something because they felt like they had to. And, and I think sometimes the holidays does that to us. It makes us feel like we have to um, meet these certain standards and you really don't you set your standards and you you know you can bake something or make something there's so many ways you can cut back on those expenses so don't go in debt for holidays or for gifts for people throughout the year or for a vacation that you can't afford i i there's people out there that are going three and four vacations a year maybe you don't need to go on a vacation maybe put that money in the bank and don't go in debt over it it wasn't meant to be that way number five Invest in ways that work for you. Now, if you're not very good at investing, I'm not a, an investing expert myself. I do, my husband and I have invested in some properties and we do have some rentals, but I'll tell you what, it can be wonderful when everybody's paying the rent. You're like, oh, this is a great investment. And then you go through an eviction or something like that and you're like, what the hell did we get ourselves into? So it's very, um, up and down with your emotions. So you need to pick something that's good for you right now. That's what we're doing. And I, again, I'm not going to sit here and, um, tell you that it's probably the best thing in the world. Um, when it's, when things are good, it's good. And when things are bad, you've got to get out there and, and handle it. So I do know, I do watch a channel by Andre. I don't know how to say his last name. I'm going to put it in the, the, the link below, but he talks a lot about investing in stocks. Um, I've been watching him a lot. I haven't done any of it, but if you've got a little bit extra cash and you'd like to learn how to invest in stocks, he also teaches how you can do affiliate marketing by investing in stocks. So if you're looking at affiliate marketing, you're still not sure where you want to go, I'm going to put his link below, his channel, so you can go ahead and check him out. Um, like I said, I've been watching him. I haven't done anything, but I'm going to you know, share that information with you. Number six how can you get rich? Start your own business. Da -da! Um, start affiliate marketing. Um, you know, right here online, guys, it's not a huge investment. It's more of an investment of your time than it is your money. There isn't a, a money investment eventually when you, when you want to um, start, you know, making more money, um, doing it you know, the more money, you've got to spend money to make money, if that makes sense, and, and learn what the right tools are and all those things. But I do have a startup guide below. Um, go ahead and hit that link just to start your business, but start a business. And you may not want to start affiliate marketing. Maybe you want to do, um, you know, Shopify or e-commerce or something like that. There's tons of videos out there, but my guide will help you in any business that you want to start because there are certain background things that you need to do first. Even if you want to start an Etsy business or an eBay business or something like that. Um, actually, years ago, I started my first business online with eBay. I was making over $2,000 a month just going out and buying things at yard sales because at that time in my life I loved to go out to yard sales and I was buying I was actually buying things on eBay in bulk and then I'd get them in the mail and I'd separate them out and sell them in parts and make money it's crazy um, one of my neighbors he was into um, auto mechanics and he goes he would go to um, auctions and things and buy old auto parts he was all about cars and he would shine them up till they look like new and then sell them on eBay and he'd make two and three hundred dollars at a time or he'd go to auctions and he'd say, you know, he knew about those things like th those kind of weird things that are in the boxes and you're looking at it and thinking this is trash. Well, somebody that knows what's in there will pick it up for a dollar and then turn around, sell it on eBay. So you can start a business in anything. Think about what you'd love to do. But I, oh, I had so much fun for two or three years I did it. It was actually way back when it wasn't so saturated, but I made tons of money. I actually made enough money to remodel a house that I had bought at the time. So, you know, start a business. It doesn't have to be here online. It doesn't have to be affiliate marketing, but you do have certain steps you need to go through when you start the business. So make sure you 
get my guide below. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything and go through those steps to set up your um, proprietorship and things like that and things you need to do with the tax, uh, Uncle Sam for taxes. All right. And number seven, get professional advice. If you're really honestly and truly looking to get rich and you really want to do something bigger, then you know you might want to invest in coaching or a lawyer or advisor or something like that, depending on what niche you go into or, or how your what kind of business you're setting up. Or maybe you're just trying to invest in stocks and bonds and, and maybe you have some extra money and you just don't, you want to make money that way and you're not sure how to do it. Get some professional advice and, and go from there. But you're not, you're not going to do it on your own, honestly. Everybody needs help. Because when we try to do it on our own, we're, we're taking forever. It, it, you know, there's people in front above us that have made it find somebody and get their professional help. And it, yeah, it's going to cost you money, but that's going to save you so much time. So that's number seven. I'm going to give you one little tip before we go. Remember this, and I want you to put it somewhere where you can read it, but debt holds people back. Getting rich isn't about, it isn't about just going out and, and getting rich so you can buy cars and houses and things like that. I mean, maybe that's why you want to get rich, but to me, getting rich or getting wealthy is freedom. Could, could you, I tell my husband all the time, can you imagine being able just to catch a flight somewhere and just say, Hey, let's go to the Bahamas or let's go to see one of the kids without even thinking about how are we going to pay for it? And, you know, in our life right now, that's where we're at. Still, I'm still working my full-time job. I'm going to be honest with you and up front. And that's my goal for rich and for wealth is just to have the freedom of not having to worry anymore, not worried about paying the bills and not worrying about, you know, life insurance and, and health insurance and all of that. It's just, you know, going into retirement, not to have to worry about is that retirement check coming in and things like that. So you need to decide why you want to get rich. What is your, what is your goal for doing that? And, and put that somewhere. Debt holds people back. The first one of the steps in getting rich is to get out of that hole. We got to dig ourselves out of that hole and get to a level playing field where we're out of the hole, you know, and, 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 and we're free from that. And that's what being rich is to me is all about is that freedom. And I think, you know, that small percent of people that it gets to experience that, I, I just think that is amazing. And we all have it. We all can get there in this country, in the United States, all of those of you that live here. But, you know, we, we are blessed where we have the opportunity where we can achieve that if we do the things that we need to do to get there. All right, folks, thank you for watching my video today. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe below. And there's a the couple links that I mentioned below. Go ahead and check those out, okay? All right, I'll see you later.